This is the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, June 14th, 2021. Episode 48 covers four craft beers from Fair State Brewing Cooperative, including a rare Grzeski. <laughs> This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Yeah, baby. Guess who's back? We got yeah. tech guy, Steve. Hello, hello, hello. We got the band back together. Yeah, the boys are back in town. There it is. So today, uh, I was, uh, last week I was out of town. I was, uh, I was in Minnesota. The good news with that Don't is we brought know. some beer back. Don't you Don't know. You know. <laughs> Going to uh, take a run at some Fair State, uh, Fair State Brewing. Yes. Oh, go. my Grzeki. So the um, the first beer, while uh, while we get started here, uh, Charlie's pour, pouring a uh, Oh, my Grads, uh, which is a, uh, it's a Grzeki. Grzeki? Uh, the return of a Polish champagne uh, to Fair State at long last. A Grzeki uh, made in collaboration with Lua Brewing in, in Des Moines, Iowa. Oh My Grads is brewed exclusively with oak fermented wheat malt and hopped exclusively with German Haller Tau hops. Lagered cold for an extended period of time for maximum crispness and foam jiggolosity. Foam jiggolosity? Stuff, they say. That's a word? That's what they say. I like it. They say they. Uh, this is the stuff of brewer's dreams. I saw this on there. I was looking for, I couldn't remember the beer that, that we had had at the Festival of Funk, maybe the Festival of Funk the first year. Which was the, I think it was the Lichtenheiner. Ooh, it was so good. They didn't have any of that, but. Um, it was so good. <laughs> Ooh, that's smoky. Isn't it? So it does smell a little smoky on there, huh? A little, um, it smells really carbonated as well, but you definitely. It is. I got some good sud. You smell that, that carbonation. Ooh, that's, that's some, some. Definitely smells the smokiness. Out yeah, there. I can taste it too, man. It tastes more than it smells, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, super light, and you got mm. that smoky on the back end. Here's what it tastes like to me. Smoked cheese. Like a really good smoked cheese is what it tastes like to me. I'm just loving it. Like yeah, a, super like smoky. You definitely like a Gouda. super light. You know, I don't know if I would, uh, like, I think that Lichtenheiner that they had, it was a little thicker, mm -hmm. right? It was more on the sour side. It's um, a more it was, cheesier, too. But um, this is good. Wow. Yeah, no, Gosh, really good light. Good call, Chris. Man. Reminds me of that... Uh, didn't you, we have some smoked lagers when we did the uh, big uh, meat the, is the, from uh, Ender, Endergren. Endergren mm, yeah. had them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was some tasty stuff there. Some of it was a little too smoky, but uh, yeah, I see that in the in the refrigerator down there at uh, um, Valley Farms all the time. Big meat. Yeah, I love it. This, this is, is tasty. It, it is really really good. I'd yeah, like wow. to uh, be. It's sitting unique. Here drinking this with the charcuterie plate oh yeah cheese on cheese on cheese so the um you know while i was uh while i was trying to figure that out like i was uh like oh, how do you how do you say that i actually found this uh this web page it says the, the it's uh, the beer syndicate blog uh, and they say uh guide to the 10 most commonly mispronounced beer styles mm -hmm. right <laughs> so it talks about each one of these beer styles and then it goes in and uh it actually gives you a little audio clip so you can play them, right? So I was <laughs> like, oh, I'm like, okay. It's like Hefeweizen and, and uh, what else is on there? Berliner, Lambics, uh, Kolsch's, uh, Gues. Uh, but then, um, oh, here's, uh, so when we get down there, this is. Pivo uh, Grodzikia. There you go. What was it? Pivo Grodzikia. Grodzis. Pivo Grodzikia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's got a Polish guy saying it. Too. Exactly. For sure. So I guess the. So it's like the, the, the pivo <laughs> is beer in, in Polish. Oh, okay. So it's like beer, um, I don't know. Godiz, yeah. Yep, there you go. I Oak like smoke, it. Like, yep, there you go. I think it's uh, my uh, nephew-in-law uh, is married to my niece, obviously, but he was born in a town in Germany where they ha that's what they do. They do a smoked lager, and it's fantastic. We've had it. It's delicious. He would love this. Mm-hmm. And it's that's a great style, man. Wow. That is a, just a unique, great style. Not a whole lot, and I think that's you know originally when we when we got turned on to um, Fair State was actually out here. Um, we were walk we were walking by their stand, and I was wearing a North Stars hat, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Hey, you know." So, so we went over and uh, 
And then Jeremy was like, oh, you guys have a Lichtenheimer, uh, which is essentially a dead beer style. Just mm-hmm. nobody's making yeah. them. Right? Yeah. And then these guys were. And they brought a bunch of, like, really funky stuff. Uh, wasn't um, the guy from um, uh, Green Cheek talking with him while we were there? He may may have been. Adam? Was it, was it the brewer Adam or what's um, his name? Uh, Evan? Evan. Yeah, there you go. I knew it was something. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's, he was chatting him up, too. And I said, you guys need to make a beer together, man. That would be great. Because they make a great lager, too, at uh, Green Cheek. But, uh, no, I was super excited about that stuff we had the last time at that uh, festival. First time I ever experienced anything like that. I was like, this is so good. <laughs> Pretty tasty. Yeah, and this is right up that alley. Yeah, so the uh, the Fair State is actually, uh, it's a co-op. Mm. They were the, the first brewery that was built out as a co-op. Mm. Um, so you get, like, you get cash back at the end of the year. You get a little check, right? Mm. <laughs> Which is be a big fan of getting money back from yeah. a brewery. That's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. I'd I take they were, it in beer. They were the first in the nation. That, that I, I, I don't believe they're any longer the um, only. the only brewery co-op. <clears throat> uh <clears throat> I was going to ask you, um, did, uh, so you had to go to the brewery to get these? Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I was trying to find, really, I, my goal was to, um, to find that double spirit follow, the double IPA of the, um, that they make with modern times, uh, which uh, probably came out four or five years ago for the first time. I couldn't find it anywhere. It just released that week and I knew they had crowlers at the brewery. Mm-hmm. Minnesota is such like, their archaic beer laws don't allow them to sell. Like they have to can crowlers to sell at the brewery because of the three tiered system. Like mm-hmm. they can't sell their cans in their own brewery. Mm-hmm. So there could be a beer store right next door selling right, four packs, right. but you have to pay like the per pint price at the brewery for just uh, kind of crazy. Yeah. It shows who's got the power, I suppose. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like who's got the lobbying, lobbying dollars. Uh-huh. Cause they're like, they put these small breweries out of, and then like, distilleries i think it's even worse like they can't smell sell smaller bottles it's only the bigger bottles like you couldn't go in and buy like um like a half a liter yeah, or whatever right. you know it's like or the, a sampler pack or, right yeah right there's none of that that's super unfortunate i would i would think that they would figure it out after a while It'd be more, so much more beneficial they'd be collecting 10 times as much tax right yeah i know we talked about that previously but a few of the breweries that are actually brewing in wisconsin under another name like humble forager and yeah forager so was that just not a, be able to get to that? Yeah, that's so that brewery, um, Humble Forager, is like uh, it's in Rochester, mm-hmm. uh, which is a little over an hour from where I was staying. Um, like I was staying in the metropolitan area, and this is like down south. So I tried to, um, I tried to get my mom to drive down there for me. So I originally, I, um, yeah, on Saturday I was like, Mom, I'm like, let's. Uh, I I rented. Um, I ended up with this convertible, so I'm like, Hey, let's rent. You know, like let's drive down to. Um, let's go on this hour long drive to go get breakfast, you know, down these back roads. And then, uh, <laughs> um, she was like, okay. And then my, um, my other siblings wanted to join us for breakfast, but they didn't want to drive an hour for really. I mean, I think they saw through my plan where I was like, mom, the breakfast is going to be great down there. So <laughs> it was the beer I'll be bringing home. <laughs> and then, um, they were, they wanted to meet in the metropolitan area. Oh, we're so. just going to have to go back there and get some. That's right. I'm ready. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready right now, actually. Are you ready to crack that next one? Yeah, I'm not going to rush you, you know, because I you you probably still got a little jet lag. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's a foamy one. Uh, ooh, that tastes pretty good. Um, we're going to be uh, checking out most your coffee tomorrow. There is a beer release. I've been told it's a little drippy, Steve. Mm. Take charge. I get some foam on mine. Get so this better snows off of it. Uh, this beer here is just a uh, it's a pale ale. Mm-hmm. They say it's an all Simcoe pale ale brewed to remind us that some uh, good things are just good. Yeah. Um. So speaking of, uh, you guys have any decent beers this week, Steve? I'm taking pictures. Oh right. yeah, I did. Yeah, I was uh, I was chucking back some uh, some uh, fall. I had a couple of their hazies. I got a couple more growlers and. Uh, Cut more 16 ounce cans, but they had a a, a light lager there, super good. <laughs> yeah, I, I bought a six pack of that, and I think I'm think I'm done with it. I think I might have one left, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I was dancing with that, and um, 
then those hazies from there too. So it was just fall brewing this week. It was a good call. Me and my neighbor went down there. We had a friendly burger. You ever been to friendly? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Friendly is a juicy good burger, and it's uh, down there on 30th and uh, what's the name of Adams? I think it is. Mm-hmm. And uh, we uh, rolled in there, and then I I saw a guy wearing a fall brewing shirt, and I said, uh, "You work for the brewery?" And he goes, "No, I just got the shirt." He goes, but the brewery's right there. And I said, I've never been there. So Jeff and I rolled down there and boom, popped in there. And it was pretty doggone good. Is it called The Friendly? Is that where you went? Yeah, The Friendly. That's a pizza place. And burgers. It's not what they claim. Well. <laughs> Either way. Burgers are pretty doggone. Well, They're we had right, a pizza, huh? a piece of pizza and burgers. So I got two of The Friendlies and a piece of pizza. And they were they were both good. Yeah. They were both good. Wow. So, that is a really good. Didn't it? Paleo. What's the ABV on that? What did we get? Uh, five. Five percent. We didn't check the uh, the smoky beer. What was that? Like four, smoky. three? Smoky. Not very good at my job. I might have to go to Steve. <laughs> three point five. I'm there you go. Bad. That's oh, a good that's lager a, drinker. That's a all day. Yeah, it is. So I tried something new from Thorn. It's called Treading Lightly. It's their low carb IPA. Oh yeah, how was it? At four point five, it has a great flavor for something that's two point nine nine carbs. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah, yeah. I haven't had that. I've not seen quite, it. Not quite a. You know, it's definitely an IPA ish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not um, the lager style, but it was good. Yeah, yeah, cool. I, I, I've seen it. I just haven't mm-hmm. had it. So one of these times, I'll grab it. I was chatting up the guy stocking the shelves down at Valley Farms this morning. Telling him what to get more of and less of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he paid no attention to me. <laughs> Go away, <laughs> is what he said. <laughs> I had, um, so it's, uh, I was at a graduation party the other day. I had a logger. I was at Steve's, oh, uh, yeah. Steve's house. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know the name of it. Yeah, I got it right I, here I, I figured Steve would have it. But it was just a, uh, it was a German logger. It was really good. I think uh, you said it came from um, Fraser Farms? Fraser Farms. Just uh, just locally. Rothhouse Pills. Rothhouse Pills. Yeah, it was really good. I thought it was great. Yeah. I was going to do that one, but the picture I have here doesn't have the other words on mm-hmm. the Tannin. Tannin Zapfels. 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 Let's see what the translation is. It says, the best aroma hops from Tenang and Hallertau. Uh, domestic malt from the summer barley and pure spring water from the high black forest. Mm-hmm. It's Rothhouse mm-hmm. Pills. It's unique and spicy, fresh taste. I thought it was really good. Yeah. I thought it was, uh, it was super tasty. Yeah. It was hot out. You know, it was nice. It was like six. You know when it's, oh, gosh, it's hot it was, out. It's yeah, it was lager time, It was just man. like, nuh, nuh, nuh. Oh, it was really good. I'm telling you, man, that lager is the every man's beer. You can just do it. You can drink it doing anything, you know, except for operating a vehicle and heavy equipment, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and was, machinery. Was, I thought it was classic pills. You know, it was really, really good. Mm-hmm. Yep. That came from the guy whose name is escaping me from the buyer. Over at. I mentioned uh, him before, but yeah. I totally forgot his name. Yeah. Awesome. It's, it's a, wow. it's, it smells like a pale ale. It's just a fresh, clean tasting and smelling beer. I like it. It's, I mean, that's, if that's a go-to for, I bet you that's a real popular beer there. I really like it. Yeah. I, I'm a fan of like a clean, crisp pale ale. Mm-hmm. Light on so, the malt. So clean, clear. I mean, not <clears throat> overly hoppy. <laughs> I think recently I've been um, I've been kind of going after a lot of like uh, West Coast pale ales, right? So you get like that hoppiness, but then like the um, that pale ale flavor with with more hoppiness. I really like that. Okay, this one's Party Forward IPA, Fair State Co-op Party Forward IPA. This is six percent, so it's probably right up the same alley as that other one, but we'll see. Oh. Smells a little better, actually. So, does it? You weren't a, a big fan of the uh, the smell on the. Um... No, it wasn't bad. I'm just saying this is by my pour. You can tell. So this is the uh, the party forward, huh? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's, that's almost a hazy man. Look at that. It's got some. Hot it is, yeah. No, for sure. I think this is Citra. Um, oh, I'm addicted to Citra. Gosh, I really like this this pale ale. You know, it's just light. Um, it's light, refreshing. Yeah. 
Bottoms up, pal. We're moving on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is good. <laughs> he wants the can back. Yeah. <laughs> Party forward. I mean, their yeah, can little... their can magic is pretty cool. I mean, they're doing some good stuff on that. That first lager is it's kind of average, but these two are uh, pretty brightly colored. Yeah, the other one's hey, got the... Remember pale ales? Yeah, we remember. We drink them. Yeah, really cool little uh, um, little brewery. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it's co-op, so all of their members, uh, you get your picture put on the wall. Winner, winner, right here. Dude, this so yeah, far is good. the best one. Yeah. Gosh, it's good. Yeah, they... Um... It's a dang citra, I'm telling you, man. Ooh, it it's danger. So good. Taste it. It's better than it smells. It smells great. Tastes better. Mm. Oh wow. Is... Yeah, these guys are doing it right, man. They and how many? They probably have plenty of different styles. Of oh beer, man. Right? Yeah, they had probably probably twelve or fifteen beers. And you know, like a lot of places will have twelve or fifteen beers, and then they have like. I don't know, six IPAs. I mean, they're all over the board. Like, you can get whatever you want from, like, really there? wild. I didn't see any stouts on tap. And I don't think I took a picture of the, uh, um, we were so excited. Like, so we hit this place, and then we went to Barrel Theory, which is another brewery, and then we went to Minnesota Wild Ales. Problem was, I bought, like, these. I had all of my, um, I had a bunch of stuff for work with me, so I was unable to, like, pack a whole lot of beer. This was kind of on the the high end, like five crowlers were kind of the, the limit. So I, uh, your uh, mule ability. Yeah. I'm just not, not quite the mule I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, uh, so they say some beers are malt forward. Some are hot forward. This one's party forward. Yeah. A hazy IPA uh, brewed with lemongrass and citra hops. This thing could be, this thing could be super crushability. I mean, I'm shocked fun. if they could put this out here. This would be super, super popular. I think they do this one in cans, like oh. around the metropolitan area. I don't know if this has made it out here. Gotta Sometimes I see their beer at, at Bottlecraft. Um, yeah, you know, occasionally. They, yeah. Very I, I don't occasionally. know which... Uh, I've only which seen one. big bottles there, you know, like the uh, 750 milliliter ones, you know. Yeah. And they're usually something unique. They're not uh, like IPAs or pails or anything like oh, that. Oh, man, that's so good. That Isn't it? <laughs> Wow. That's worthy. That citra. Um, that's worthy of party forward. Yeah. Can you imagine just, you know, some. Tss, tss, no, there's a lot. Gosh, background. there's a lot of like fruitiness in there, you know, not. Um, not like citrusy, but like. Like almost melon gummy. Like yeah, melon me Sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Like uh, honeydew. That citra is really sweet, though. I mean, it's it jumps out. Yeah. No, it's really like kind of, you know, I mean, soft. It's super soft. Hey, we got to give a shout out to uh, Josh for jumping in for you. For sure. For stepping in. And uh, I mean, he did it out of the park. He brought some good beers and we uh, we drank them. <laughs> I was hoping that uh, I was hoping he'd, he'd make it over here. <laughs> well, I mean, it's unfortunate he's not here today, but uh, it was it was fun. We had a good time the other day, even without you. I mean, we would have had a better time if you were here, obviously. Yeah, it was next time. Well, today. Yeah, yeah now. At this point. At this juncture. Mm. Yeah, so that's really good. You know, it, it pours like your classic hazy, right? You know, that... that uh, well, here's the deal. Look at it. It does look like a hazy. Yeah, sure. It it is, yeah, it's cloudy as all yeah. get out. She's a hazy. It's a hazy IPA. Yep. I mean, they don't say that on there, but... It's it's definitely not a see through, but uh, favorite so far. I I drink more of this. Yeah, for sure. Is there any left in there? Yeah, there is. All right, party forward. You want some more, Steve? Nope. Yeah, it's got a great nose on it. I uh, I'm a fan of that of that beer. No, I'm good. Okay, thanks. I'm just gonna take charge here. Mm -hmm. Take charge. Yeah, that's almost a full glass of beer there, dude. Yep. We don't usually do that, but, you know, when they're really good, <laughs> like when it's a horse, <laughs> I'm filling my glass up, even if it's one of those little bottles. And we got some horse coming. Yeah? We do? Did yeah. You, he's, uh... he's, 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 what does he say? Uh, he's uh, doing his, what's the lion one? He just, he posted it on Instagram. It was, uh, gosh, I got a picture of it. I don't even know where my phone's at, so. He released a couple of, uh, a, a a couple of teasers today for uh, some some beers that are coming uh, 
um, some coming up this this week. I know he <clears throat> he just released a a beer with um, of mice and men. Mm. Um, that that was actually for sale today. And then he had a couple of beers. One of them is like a oh the one with the with the tiger on it. Yeah, uh, Planifolio Per. Yeah, uh, it's the second uh, the second of the two barrel aged stouts Van that are coming out. Winkle, mm -hmm. my friend. Yeah, three full years in two different Pappy Van Winkle twenty year bourbon barrels, then treated with thirty pounds of vanilla. Oof. Oh, it's gonna Oof. Suck. Suck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Suck. That's and then gonna be the, crushing. Somebody had said, like, why the vanilla over the pappy barrels? He's like, Oh, don't worry. The, yeah. the single <laughs> pappy's straight, coming. Straight out barrel. Uh, yeah, that's coming. Uh, right. That'll be good too. Yeah. That'll so be the um Yeah, that that beer club is the so um, you know, I'm in a couple of different beer clubs and I, I like confirm like <clears throat> I think I might be, you know, a couple of them are phenomenal. Yeah. Like are great. And um then maybe um, maybe, maybe some of them aren't what you want out of a beer club, eh. but the, um, the, uh, I, I'm just glad that we're not going to mention who they are. Right? No, I'm just, well, I'll just say that, that Horace is, uh, you know, as I, I don't know that there's a better beer club in the nation as far as the bottles that you get, the bottles no. that you get access to, no, no. you know, his, um, maybe, maybe Jay Wickfield. If he has I don't beer. I don't know if he has a, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll take, I'll take the Horace club, yeah. the bottles that are there Absolutely. and the, um, it's hard to pick up the Jay Wickfield. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah. A, it's a, it's a being right up the road, you know, <laughs> it's the, uh, I, it's still out of the way. I'm still bummed out anytime I got to drive up there, you know, cause it's, you're driving all the way mm -hmm. like across no. San Diego County. Check this out. He's made an IPA with coast tacos. He did. Yeah. Cal Craft coast. tacos. Craft. Yeah. Craft Coast, isn't mm. it? Craft Coast, that's what it is. If you're ever in Oceanside. Mm. Oh, phenomenal. Gosh. Little, little, Mex little taqueria. What are those things called? What are the te tepatillas? <clears throat> or what, what was it we had? I'm certain what they were. These like quesadillas with oh, two. It was like a taco quesadilla, mm. I think. It was oh, phenomenal. It mm -hmm. was, they were so good. Yeah, so if you ever make it up that way, like if it's downtown Oceanside, well, um, Craft Chris, Coast. Chris drags me down there. <laughs> no, I, I volunteered to go along with him. And we went in there and check this out. It was, I mean, the beer was great. The tacos were great. Everything was great. And then I see when we get back, I think I shot you a picture of it. He's made an IPA with them. Mm. So it's it's going to be off the hook. I'm, uh, I'm super excited to get back up there and eat some tacos. They had a lot of different uh, places that they had they had collabed with throughout town. We had picked up like a, I think a four pack of that Mexican lager, which was phenomenal. Oh, the Baja... Uh, Agua Baja, Baja Agua, or something like that. Yeah, yeah it was really good, really, really, really light, tasty. refreshing. And I guess I got, uh, yeah, I just got that. That's all we got, right? We drank their hazies though; those were good too. That's going to be an interesting spot if they don't open up more of those. They're crazy, you know, because anywhere where you have legit craft beer and you're selling good food like that, it's going to be busy. And it was; it was hopping. It was really busy. Yeah. Yeah, it's a rather small spot, but it, it, it yeah, there was definitely you know twenty minute wait or whatever to get seated mm -hmm. for a couple of tacos. Really quick service once yeah, we once we once sat we down got in there. Yeah, it was done. We uh, you know ordered a beer and and sat down and our our tacos were up shortly, um, but they were they were lights out like they were. Uh, I got an idea. We do really a show good. from there with Horace. Set it up. All right, I'll go. I'll check it out. You know him better than I do because I mean he doesn't know me. I've just given him more money than you have. <laughs> That's yeah. So far. Right. <laughs> so Steve is, yeah. is like he saw that that Instagram. I shot it to him and he's like, holy <laughs> You know, the good news like his beers though, like are relatively like you look at those, those are like twelve ounce bottles. Yeah. You know, so they're they're the, the small bottles. They're actually relatively like it's those are cheaper than well. Not by an ounce, but like they're you know, an ounce price or whatever, because they're a small bottle, but they're relatively um, relatively inexpensive, you know, for like how rare of a bottle it is. It's just getting the access to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I would certainly buy more of those. Like I'd rather have like that double, because they're the smaller, I mean, you know, the smaller bottles, like that double dose is an extremely expensive, you know, like that's a pretty spendy bottle of beer. Yeah. Um, and it's a huge bottle of beer, like, you know, especially for how much great. is going, it's phenomenal, but it's just difficult for like two guys to, <laughs> like you can tackle that with two guys, you know, like with yeah. the, the smaller bottle there. Or if you're even, you know, even if you get three guys that are splitting it, you feel like you got, mm -hmm. like your four ounces was yeah, enough yeah, of it because yeah, yeah. it's so That's strong. Yeah, it's so adjunct heavy. Everything's well, I'm right still there. Gonna, I'm still going to try and get into the lottery every time I can. I mean, I want that membership. As you should. And, mm -hmm. you know, Steve's got one. You've got one. 
I don't have one. No. Oh, Steve, my Steve. buddy Steve. My other buddy Steve. I got so many Steve buddies. But, uh, yeah, we'll get on to the next beer here. Stop your yapping and start your pouring. That's what Mr. Calcutt said. I didn't say nothing. I maybe like looked, <laughs> looked at him. I, I saw it in I your mean, eyes. It like gave you a really confusing look. Like, like what happened to that last beer? Tears in his eyes, I guess. Yeah, we're all done. What See do we got here? Later. This is a double spirit foul. It mm. is. Tell us what this <clears throat> is, Chris. So double spirit foul is uh, it's a collaboration with uh, with Fair State and Modern Times right here in town. Mm. Uh, this is a double dry, uh, double dry hopped, Crap, double IPA so good. version of the hazy IPA collaboration with Modern Times from San Diego. Super juicy. Oh, tropical it's juicy and hazy. I'm pulling another four one off that. Full one, four one. Get in there. Jump in, Steve. So this was probably my favorite beer that they had released. Mm. So you've had this one. I've mm. had Spirit Fowl. I've never had Double Spirit. Fowl. That's what I've had is Spirit Fowl. Mm. Oh, it smells super good. I don't know, man. These this one looks uh they look very similar. So it is a hazy. I thought all their IPAs were hazies, right? No, I don't think so. Um Okay. Mm. I'm excited that you know I know the first time that I had that I had tasted this, you really tasted that like kind of um like spirit follow. I don't know if that was their wow. first hazy IPA. Oh my goodness. But it was uh, uh I didn't think you could get better than the last one. <laughs> yeah, What's in it, it just Chris? Did. What's in it? Tell us. Gosh, they don't say what uh, what the hop profile is Keep or anything, but oh. it's certainly like, I know the first time. <laughs> Steve. Steve going back for more. I love it. <laughs> the first time I had had just the regular Spirit Fowl, I was like, you know, I was blown away. I was like, man, that's a phenomenal beer. And then you go back there. And if they had it, I didn't find this in a beer store um, or I would have brought back numerous <sighs> four packs of it. Because like it's so much better. Oh. Beer is cheap and and you know like you get outside of like where and it makes makes sense right like it's what a lot more gas expensive back there. Oh man, they were talking. These people were talking about how crazy the gas prices were, <laughs> you know. And it was like I had paid a dollar twenty a gallon more here before I left because we're you know we're at four bucks a gallon. Yeah, easy. Um, and the uh, yeah, I think it was two. Two eighty five, I think, is what I paid when I returned the gas back. Like that's like not looking for, you know, like wow. like oh, hey, that's there a dollar dollar fifteen cheaper than I normally spend, and every you know, and yeah. nobody's at the gas station, mm -hmm. right? They're across the street saving six cents or whatever. No, we no. ran into some friends from Maui at the zoo, and they yeah. pay less for gas, than six which is amazing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're like, no, oh, they're paying less. Than oh us. gosh, mm -hmm. you know, they're, yeah, they're like mid twos. What the heck? Anyways. On to real reality here. Beer. This, this is, is awesome. This is a... Oh, my God. Okay, we know what Steve needs for Christmas. A big keg of spirit, double spirit. Fire. Man, that's a really, really good beer. I didn't What's see that? the percentage on there. It's probably eight. All right, that's what I was guessing, yeah. I don't... 8.2. 8.2, there you go. Yeah, it says it comes through at 8.2. It certainly doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't taste no, that super not juicy at all. like they like they pointed out. Um did you read all of the ingredients? I didn't. Does it say it on there? Yeah. Double dry hopped, double IPA with strata and mosaic cryo. Cryo? Cryo? Cryo. Yep. yep. Notes of pineapple, OJ, and overripe tropical fruit. There it is. So strata and mosaic. That's exactly what I tasted. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so that, okay. that's super tasty. And that would have been, I think it, they have their canned on date, which is like on this one, uh, it was 6'10", so it was a week ago. That this, this is 6'2". 6'2", okay. Yeah. And we're, what, 6'11"? Mm -hmm. So a week ago nice. um, oh, that wow. it was... Uh, that was a freshie. Yeah, for sure. 90-day limit, right? Well, so, yeah, no, that was the other <laughs> thing. So I, I was, you know, I, I just bought all these crowlers. It really, I went, in, I went into the brewery to get the double spirit file. I wanted, yeah. you know, I wanted to bring some crowlers to that home. And then I was like, oh, hey, let's grab a couple more. When I bought these, me and... Uh, me and my nephew stopped in there, and then we were driving to a friend's house to to go um, have a few beers. And then, uh, so after I bought these, I was like, "Hey, I'll grab these for the show this week." Uh, then we ended up at another brewery instead of going to this um, this other friend's. So I, but I had already hit my weight limit. But the um, as we were, I bought all these, and I got home, and I was like looking at the the born on dates, and I'm like, "Hey, I see this IPA has like the pale ale has a date of I think four twenty one." Yep. And what's the date of the party forward? This is uh, it has 24, 21. Yeah. Uh, so March, yeah, March 24th. Mm. 
So here we are. That's like two and a half, yeah. two and a half months. Yeah. So I had actually brought it up. I was like, hey, I was like a little, a little confused to like get home and find that I these, had a two and a half month old crawler. These that are seller aged. <laughs> right. And they were, so the, they got back to me right away and, and they said uh, that they had been, you know, they had uh, put their crawlers through numerous um, uh, sensory panels and had found that. Uh, they were they were good up to ninety days. So you know what we we should have had we should have had Grace in here testing these bad boys. Well, that's yeah, that's it. Because you know I also see like when when you look like I was just looking it online and there's you could I could have picked up cans probably locally of that fair state like mm. four packs that Fresh. were canned on the first. Yeah, mm. right. So I would have liked to have seen that. Like, hey, I'm buying this today at the brewery. I'm buying this at the grocery store down the road. This yeah. has been you know a week ago. Who's your and, next family member that's heading out here? None of them, I don't think. Mm. No, I uh, haven't talked. I think I'm going to meet, meet some in Utah here shortly. But I like maybe. Utah. Yeah. If they bring beer, because there's really not a whole lot of great beer in Utah. This in is the beer opinion. they should bring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, that's This was probably not too bad of an idea yeah. either. No. And same with that smoked lager. Gosh. So the first time Spirit Fall came out, there's one last story here real quick. I had, uh, this is probably four or five years ago. But I was calling around to to liquor stores in the metropolitan area. I'd kind of figured out where they were delivering. Like I called the brewery and I'm like, hey, what days do your trucks go? And they had told me what <laughs> days they had delivered to like what parts. So then I um, I was trying to find different uh, liquor stores in, in the metropolitan area that carried Fair State. And I found this one. It was called like, I think it was Blue Ox. And like, uh, so I called them and, and they were like, hey, we're going to get a truck in. So I was envisioning it was like a... Like a release, like a San Diego beer release in those days. So I actually sent my mom over there, like mid seventies, to stand to park, in line to park outside. You know, to <laughs> sit outside in a chair. Right? Mm -hmm. That was pretty funny. The guys got a kick out of it. They're like, "Hey, we have some. The truck's coming in." And I'm like, "Well, can you hold me some?" And they're like, "Well, that's not possible." And my mom was right down the road, so I, I sent her over there. I'm like, "All right, hey." I'm like, "You're gonna see this seventy year old lady sitting outside in the chair, right?" So my mom came up and they're like, "You must be here for the spirit foul." And then gave it to her. Like, right, she's like, the only one in the line, right? Yeah, there's no, there was no line. But <laughs> that's they're great. Like, I don't. Yeah, look, we'll just give this. I, lady yeah, beer. nobody's lining up. We, we stand in line for beer and we pay the high gas. <laughs> right. Prices. Yeah. Exactly. Right. They're like these guys out there. Yeah, they're California weird. All right. <laughs> yeah. But, well, let's let's uh, let's let's go back in time to the first time I stood in line. That was at Pure Project with you for. Thousands of money, I think it, it was. was the original, the original release of thousands of money, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm never standing in line for beer. Here I am, <laughs> he, he <laughs> right near in, in the morning. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, one other time, I was uh, I was standing in line. Uh, we we stood in line at Lost Abbey, which was well worth it. On that one, thousands of money was awesome, man. But I mean, we found out later that it was going to be canned. It was not more than once and. Yeah, they get, yeah, that was the first time. Yeah, we got kegs of it, and we got it was uh, it was delicious. But uh, the uh, Lost Abbey stand in line was uh, an early morning, and we uh, we picked up the uh, cable car, or was it uh, what was duck, the duck. duck 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 goose? Yeah, yeah. and then uh, <laughs> what was that? Oh, that then I went solo. I went to McKellar. And you're like, hey, man, you're on the Instagram. I'm like, what? What Instagram? I'm not on Instagram. <laughs> he goes, no, you're on Instagram. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah. I'm like, crap. Send me a picture because I don't, I don't have Instagram or I don't, I don't follow Instagram or whatever they call it. So that's why I have a social media daughter. There you she go. knows all that stuff. Some of it, most of it, yep. sort of. I like it. Well, so gents, we had. Uh, we had four beers. We had the the Oh My Gradziki. We had the the Pale Ale. Like remember the pales. Um, yep. Hey, remember the Pale Ales? We had Party Forward and, and finally the Double Spirit Fall. I think we had them in the perfect order. Yeah. I think uh, they they got better and better. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm I'm super excited that we were able to uh, to to grab the Oh My Grads, but yeah. uh, that that Lua and, and Fair State collab. It's just not a beer that we have a whole lot of. It's nice to kind of throw that in. Um, I got a bottle here somewhere. It's simpler. The pale was good. The I, yeah, I, I think I go the uh, the the double spirit foul. It's just as good as I remember. A little bit better maybe Absolutely. than the, uh, the original Amazing. with it being DDH. And then party forward, and then that remember the pale ale, and then 
that was really good. But I mean, these are just in the right in the hitting zone. Yeah, yeah it worked out well. Yeah, I loved it. It was nice to try the the smoke because we don't get to try those. Yeah, right. No. Yeah. Yep. And it was super light. I think nice. it would grow on you if you had to oh, if you had to I'm, drink it more often. Like if it was the only beer. Yeah, if it was the <laughs> only beer you're drinking. Yeah, that's what you're. Oh, I love it. You know, all I drank was lagers. Yeah, I'd love to throw that in occasionally. You know, yeah. like, especially if it's super hot out. Yeah. You know, if yeah. you're like uh, eating some bratwurst, maybe smoking mm-hmm. some meat. Mm-hmm. Cool stuff. Yeah. Good there stuff. Good haul, cool. Chris. Good job. Well, until next time. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.